In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to get some basic device information about the Flutter app is running on. As you can see here, it's not that pretty, but just to show you, for example, we can load what kind of iPhone model this is, or in case of an Android phone, this would then show the Android phone type, then of course model iPhone, system name, iOS or Android, and so on. For this, we're going to use the Flutter library called Device Info Plus. Simply copy this to your clipboard, paste it into your pubspec.yaml and then run pubget. Once that is done, I've simply created a simple Flutter app where there's just in the center the text and the default text is just loading. And once it has loaded the device info, the text will be changed and the state will then be set, which will then show the device info. So all we have to do is then just simply declare our variable device info, import this of course, like so. Also import .io and Dart Foundation so that we can check whether we are currently running our Flutter app on web. This is a defined variable under the foundation package. So all you have to do is just import foundation as mentioned this one here. Then if this is web, we simply say, okay, web browser info with await device info or our beforehand declared variable dot web browser info. And then with our web browser info variable, we can get, for example, the app name, the app version, device memory, language, platform, product, and so on. If you want to have a look at all the different variables without having to define every single one of them, just use the to map function and this will then print out all the variables from the web browser info. So we checked for if the Flutter app is running web. If we are running the app on iOS, we simply say platform.isios. For this, you need to import dart colon io. And then if this is true, then we can define our iOS info variable where we just say device info iOS info. As you can see here, we could also use Android info, which we're going to use later on, or some base device info. If you're running the Flutter app on Linux, then you can use Linux info. If you're running the Flutter app on macOS, then you can use, of course, the macOS info. Also, this exists for Windows info. So here, what we're saying, basically, if we're running the app on iOS, we assign the text to iOS info, convert it to a map and then to a string. And since we set the state, then this text will be updated as you have seen before, it will look like this. And the same thing of course goes with Android. So else if platform is Android, then you just simply say await device info dot Android info. And here again, you can see the different variables you can make use of. So hardware, host, display, device, brand, and so on. So let's say if you were to run this on Windows or else if platform is Windows, then we say Windows device info, Windows info equals await device info, Windows info. And then we can simply print out Windows info to map to string. And then whatever variables like in Windows info, you can make use of the computer name, number of cores and the system memory in megabytes. This of course can then be replicated also for Linux and macOS. I hope you liked this tutorial. If so, please leave a like and comment if you want to. Also don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching.